Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have the products that I have been loving all week long and I have some new discoveries and some old ones. Um, I have all the products right here for you guys. So I am just going to jump right in. First things first is a foundation that I have been really, really enjoying. It is the Revlon Nearly Naked. I did not think I was going to like this because I usually like some pretty nice medium to full coverage if I am going to be wearing foundation unless um, if I don't I usually go for like a BB cream. This stuff, amazing. I love it. Um, I've worn it um, like all week long on the days that I have been using makeup. Unfortunately it does not have a pump but I'm okay with that because this product is amazing. It goes on so nice. I only really only use one layer and then I just spot you know wherever I need a little bit more coverage which is usually around my cheeks and like right here and um, for reference I am in the color 170 natural beige and it matches me pretty well amazing stuff like you guys need to go check it out I think I purchased this for $7.99 um, at Target and I do want to try the um, powder as well but I really really been enjoying this next thing is for my primer that I've been using is by I have two things um, this week that I've been using by Victoria's Secret that I've been really liking and I got this on clearance during their semi-annual sale it was like three dollars I think it retails for like fifteen dollars um, this is the Victoria's Secret Pro Magic Fix Radiance Flash Brightening Cream. Now, I don't have oily skin, so I love a dewy, luminous finish. This product is amazing. Like, So it's white like this, and you blend it in. And I put this on as my primer, and it oh, you probably can't even see it, but it gives like a really nice glow to your face it has just been really amazing um i don't really know if i can't really say it's like prolonged my foundation but it gives me a really nice finish so i've really been enjoying that and the other thing from victoria's secret that i purchased when i purchased that um <clears throat> radiant cream is the setting spray called make it last prime and set makeup spray supermodel approved <laughs> Um, I purchased this, I think it was about 14 I think it was retails for 14 but I think it was $4 that I paid for it. The scent is nothing. It's okay, it really doesn't have a scent, but it really does prolong my foundation and, and my makeup. Um, sometimes um, if I don't want to use my Fix Plus before my foundation, I will use this and, you know, I haven't, I've been used quite a bit and I haven't even really made a dent in it, but... I've been just, you know, really enjoying this product. So the next thing on my nails is the Sally Hansen Triple Shine in Sensational. And it is what I am wearing on my nails today. I did them yesterday. Um, but I wore them like three days before. And then um, they got all messed up because I had like the, you know, like the sheet. Um, like the, sh I don't know, the sheet prints, I guess. So I took them off. Um, and then I did them um, last night again. Really been enjoying this. Um, really nice color. And the next thing for concealer, this is an oldie but goodie. This is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ages Eye Corrector in 230. I do believe um, that they discontinue this, but this is just a orange, oh, I'm sorry, or <laughs> yellow, yellow primer. And I usually put this under my eyes before I do my Revlon and then I apply my foundation and then I just go in with a little brightening concealer nothing really to cover anything up but I have really been enjoying this it's really creamy if you guys can find these get your hands on these I have like three of them these are really nice and for blush I mentioned this <clears throat> in my last video a product rave it is the Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio. This particular color is in Coral. Um, I do have it on my cheeks today. It's just a really nice blush slash highlighting powder. And I've been really enjoying that. And another oldie but goodie is this L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. It's a little chubby black eyeliner. I am wearing it on my... 
um, lash line today. It is like uber, uber black. And it goes, at first I didn't like this because um, it didn't go on very smoothly, but I found that if I broke it and then I sharpened it, it was kind of like, you know, like when you sharpen the first layer, it's a lot more creamier. So I have been using this to do my um, top lashes and then sometimes I'll get a, a pencil brush depending on the look I'm going for and I will just smoke it out. Um, but I've been really enjoying this. And the next thing is this Anastasia Lavish Palette. And I got this last month. Um, and I just started using it today. And you can get it on her website. I think I paid $14 for this palette. <clears throat> it was like on her, her sale stuff. And it is just a gorgeous palette. I am wearing this today. A lot of these products that I'm going to be mentioning, I am wearing on my face today. Um, but I am wearing three colors today. I am wearing this cream color here on my brow bone. And then I am wearing orange soda in my crease. It's not really a good swatch, is it? On my crease. And then the deep color is sienna. And these are just really, really nice. The next thing that I have been loving, and I do believe that you guys can still get this. Um, I know like the whole entire set came with like the brow, um, brow powder and stuff. But if you want just this, I do believe it's like $14. Um, and you guys should check it out on her, on her website. And the next thing, I don't know how that just fell out. But the next thing that I've been liking is this NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep Tan. Oh... I love this. This is like, I mean, honestly, this is like holy girl status. This stuff is amazing. It blends so nice. It is matte, matte, matte. And I've, I don't know if you could tell, but I've kind of like hit pan a little bit. And it is just gorgeous. It is not too gold, not too orange. It is just a lovely color awesome to really carve out and contour with so um i think it ranges in the ten dollar range i believe so they have a lot of other like light brown, light tan medium tan deep tan so go and check these out and another bronzer that i have been loving this week is this bad boy from sephora um this does retail for 22 dollars however I got the last one at my Sephora for $11, so I got it half off, and I didn't think I was going to like it because, although it's ginormous, I mean, look at this, it's like the size of like my face, I mean, it's bigger than my hand, so um, I didn't think that this product was going to show up on my face, and it is heavenly, heavenly. Not hev not heavenly, but hef like it's strongly scented. Let's just say that. It smells like fragrance. It's not overbearing, but it's not I wish it would go away. But it is just a really nice powder. Really so this is the NYX and this is the Sephora. It is a lot lighter. But I am wearing it today on my cheeks, on my forehead. Um, I like it, you know, it's a lot of product for 11 bucks. This NYX one was like $9.99. This has 0.33 ounces or 9.5 grams. This product has 25 grams. So it's like almost, what, triple, triple the size. Um, so if you guys can find this at your Sephora on sale for $11, pick it up. I was like, oh, I think I'm going to have to return this. I don't think it's going to show up, but it does. And it's really nice just for like an all over contour. I've been really, really enjoying this. The next thing I have here on my lips is this Ulta. Now Ulta's having a sale. I think this was like $3. I think it retails for like six or $8. Um, number 239 and I am wearing it on my lips today. It is just a gorgeous, bubblegum pink color it is so creamy and lovely 
it doesn't it doesn't have much of a scent but it is really really nice and the packaging is really sleek and it says Ulta right there. It is just a really nice lipstick. Um, I have another one that I regret buying because it's way too shimmery. But I've been really enjoying this one. And another lipstick. This is my first Bite Beauty lipstick. During the holidays, I bought like, it was a three pack of the, like, the lip pencils. I have not even dug into those yet. But I have been dugging into this. And this is in the shade Kava. Kava? Luminous Cream Lipstick in Kava, C-A-V-A. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, God. It is just the perfect, perfect nude. I mean, it looks purple. It's not, ladies. It is gorgeous. And I will forever repurchase this lipstick. It is just amazing. Um, it is so creamy, and it's good for your lips. It's just amazing. Two skin products I have been loving is this Jergens BB Perfecting Skin Cream in Medium Deep Skin Tone. I use this when I go out. I put it all over my legs, all over my arms, and it really does just blur out any imperfections that your legs or arms might have. So I've been really, really enjoying this. And the smell is really nice. It's like a fresh smell. So if I think it retails about $11.99. Um, I bought mine at Target. And the other thing that I was presently, presently surprised by is this Kardashian Sun Kiss Gradual Sunless Tan. This stuff, I've, I love it. I've used it twice this week and I really like it. It retails at Ulta about $13. Uh, I was like, oh man, that's kind of expensive, but it smells amazing. It does have a little bit of that like suntan, selfless tanner lotion the next day, which, you know, you shower the next day anyways. But this has just been amazing. I used it um, on my arms today or last night and on my legs and just pretty much everywhere. And um, it says here... To exfoliate, wait at least four hours before bathing to allow absorption absorption for full color development. Um, and then wait at least 24 hours to reapply. I used this two nights in a row. I used it Wednesday night and I used it last night, which was Thursday. Um, and I've really, really been enjoying this. Um, it's not blotchy. Um, it's just a it's just a lotion. It's not really like a color lotion, but it develops. And I just, like, there's no way you can mess this up. Like, I am, like, the most stupid person when it comes to su sunless tanner. Like, I, I'm not this person, I don't like taking my time. Like, I just want to lather into my skin and go. And this stuff really is, like, stupid proof. <laughs> it's really nice. So those were all my favorites. I have one thing that was kind of a flop, fail, not really into it. And it is this foundation by Ulta. Um, <clears throat> I picked this up. It was on like their clearance bin. I think it was like $3. I would never ever in my life pay full price for this person, for this product. Um, this is Fabulous Face Natural Finish SPF 15 Oil Free Fragrance Free. First off, this is not even a full ounce. It's 0.88 ounces. Yes, 0.88 ounces. It's not even a full ounce. So, that right there is like the the other thing. This is, it says oil free. I don't have oily skin. However, the match is, it's a pretty good match. It's in pure beige. It is so greasy and it never sets into your skin. And when it does set, it sets in like areas, but not in other places. I don't know. I used it four or five times on like light days and I just hated it so much. I had to take it all off and then like put a BB cream on or something. So I am so happy that I did not pay full price for this. I paid like three or four dollars for this. I do believe that it retails for like twelve dollars, which I would never pay twelve dollars. I'd rather buy this Revlon Nearly Naked for eight dollars, which is pretty much I believe to be my holy grail. 
um, like everyday foundation. But this was just, it was a fail. I'm sorry, Ulta. I'm sorry. But what can you do? So those were all my weekly favorites. And I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.